The Tetley's next exhibition is Material Environments, which opens on the 4th of May and runs until the 8th of July. It's curated by Ben Roberts, who's the director of the Artists Research Centre and includes the work of five artists who are Phoebe Cummings, Keith Harrison, Serena Corda, Harold Offe and Joanna Piotrowska. Material environments will change the Tetley into being a site of production and experiment as well as presentation, where the artists will transform the spaces of the gallery psychologically and physically using sound, sculptural installation, film and performance. The Artist Research Centre is a relatively new organisation which runs a programme of research fellowships, artist projects and new writing programmes across the UK in partnership with museums, um, galleries and universities. So the Material Environment show is going to include five new presentations by artists. Um, kind of commissions in some ways, although they're not about showing sort of finished works, they're experiments, work in progress, and things that will develop over the course of the show. The, probably the biggest one that people will encounter when they come here will be Phoebe Cummings' work, um, which is going to be in a, a giant sort of polythene tent in the middle of the atrium, where she is going to be showing a series of clay plants, trees, and various other foliage, I suppose, um, based on partly on Baroque designs of, sort of ornamentation and which are found on Victorian candlesticks and plates and designs. But they're also come from some research that she did into a fashion from the 18th century in which plant collectors would commission artists to um, design and draw fantasy plants rather than real ones in the sort of botanical style. So she's found a whole bunch of these and um, is basing some of her sculptures on those as well. Another work that um, people will encounter is um, perhaps of a more scientific bent. Um, Keith Harrison is going to be picking up on some of the industrial heritage of the building and the brewing um, to start fermenting a mixture of various elements and materials to produce CO2, which he is then going to pipe or have piped into a giant balloon which will fill the space of the gallery that he's in. Material Environments deals with a myriad of subject matter, from botany to UFO sightings, from chemical reactions to reality TV. It really demonstrates the scope and the depth of artists' research today, and does so in a way that you actually encounter that research in person, so meeting the artists in the space and seeing the works in progress.